Quote number one. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. This means that whenever we try to hold our emotions back, they don't die. Instead they are stored inside our body and later they are manifested with much greater intensity. For example, if a person gets angry on another person but does not express that at that moment and stores it inside, then that anger builds up day by day. And it may come out later with such a great intensity that the angry person might physically harm the other person. One thing to learn from this is that we should express our emotions privately either by spitting out what is inside you or writing it down so that that emotion which could have been damaging in the long term goes out of your system. Quote number two, out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. This means that the areas where you are open to damage either physically or mentally give you the greatest strength. Whenever you start something, you are at risk of failure but this fear of the unknown keeps you going and keeps you awake at night. You never really know how much work is actually enough. Vulnerability allows you to be your original self instead of being someone else and you are the strongest when you try to be yourself. One thing to understand here is that you should try to embrace vulnerability and derive courage from it so that you keep growing and becoming better in life. Quote number three. A man should not strive to eliminate his complexes but to get into accord with them, they are legitimately what directs his conduct in the world. This means that a person should not try to finish off his or her complexes but actually try to accept himself or herself as he or she is. All the complexes of a person actually define how the behavior of a particular person is in the world. But one important thing to understand that this does not mean that you stop questioning your beliefs and ideas. That questioning process should be continuous. For example, if you have superiority complex, you will actually view people around you as being inferior to you. But questioning it will lead you to see that everyone is created equal and all human beings are same at the level of mind and body. Quote number four, most people do not really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are frightened of responsibility. This means that people at the surface level say that they want to be free in life but they don't really want to be because that actually means that now they have a responsibility to change themselves and, if possible, the world. And people are afraid to change. Most people are only interested in safety and security. But in case of safety and security, you cannot actually be free because someone else is, in reality, dictating you. For example, a bird who is caged and given food is not actually free. But if it is not caged and is free, there is a responsibility on the bird now to actually find food for its survival and it also has to feed its babies. There is also the risk that the bird can be eaten by predators so it has to protect itself also. So the thing to learn here is that if we really want to be free, we have to pay the price of taking responsibility and facing challenges because for growth, these two are important. Quote number five, everywhere I go I find that a poet has been there before me. This means that at the level of mind, a poet goes deep into thoughts and imagination. He or she explores all complexities of thought. It is a creative career which requires deep sense of thinking and observation. Poets are of different types and their poetry has covered almost every aspect of life. So we should try to learn from poets in order to develop our thought process and improve our life. Quote number six, one day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. This means that whatever your struggle is right now will give amazing results in the future. People tend to give up when times are tough. What they have to understand is that all of the adversities are actually a part of the learning process of life. What you learn in this phase actually stays with you for the rest of your life. All of these experiences will be wonderful memories after many years when you will look back. So one important thing to learn here is that whatever you want to do, you must do it with complete honesty and keep moving forward without giving up.